Do virtual threads have any performance impact over platform threads in a Spring Boot application? The answer is yes. But is this just to say or is there any proof? This is what we are going to look in this video with practical example. So stay tuned till the end. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, then do it right away to get all new video notifications and community updates. Spring Boot uses Tomcat as a default embedded server which has 200 threads for processing requests by default. This means that if these 200 threads are busy, then additional incoming requests will be waiting in a queue. And this is what I will practically show you in this video with live example and how to configure Spring Boot to use virtual threads to solve this problem. Just a quick refresher on why virtual threads are important. Each request is assigned a worker thread by the web server. Each worker thread, also called platform thread, executes the entire request till the response is returned. You can see that the default number of worker threads for Tomcat is just 200. Though this can be increased, but at some point it will exhaust if the number of simultaneous requests are more. Now, suppose the request processing takes time due to some input output operation, and at some point all the threads are busy then incoming request will be delayed and might time out. The solution is virtual threads. Since virtual threads are more in number as compared to platform threads, they can handle larger traffic. In this video, I will demonstrate this practically on a Spring Boot application. First, we will fire multiple requests when it is using platform threads. Then we will configure it to use virtual threads for request handling and then again fire multiple requests. You will see the difference yourself. With this exercise, you will also learn how to configure Spring Boot application to use virtual threads. If you have not watched the previous video, do watch it for a better understanding. This is a Spring Boot web application with no configuration for virtual threads. This is a controller with exposed URL that we will be accessing. In the service method, we have added a delay of 2 seconds to simulate request processing behavior. Let's access this URL with Postman. It is working. Now, to send multiple concurrent requests, we will be using JMeter. JMeter is a performance testing tool from Apache. You don't need to have any knowledge of JMeter to understand this, as we will be using it from scratch. Installing JMeter on Windows or Mac is very straightforward. Go to jmeter.apache.org. Here you will see download releases option. Click this. There are two options available for download. If you are on Windows, download zip. For Mac or Linux, download tar file. Once the zip is downloaded, extract it to any location on your system. Then go to that location. You will find bin folder. Run jmeter.bat by double clicking. On Linux and Mac, you need to run jmeter.sh file in terminal. Once the batch file is executed, it will launch jmeter UI. In jmeter, the first and most important element is a test plan. All the steps to be executed are contained inside test plan. A default test plan is already created when jmeter runs. To execute a test, first we need to create a thread group. Right click on test plan. Add threads and thread group. Here you can configure the number of requests that you want to send. For sending multiple requests, only the number of threads or users is required. Next, we need to add a sampler. Sampler represents the kind of request that we need to send. A sampler is added to a thread group. So, right click on thread group, add sampler. You can see there are multiple types of samplers such as HTTP request, FTP request. JDBC request, etc. Since we need to send an HTTP request, we need to add HTTP sampler. In a sampler, we can configure the URL to which it will send request, the type of request, get, post, put, etc., and the endpoint. So, protocol will be HTTP. Server name will be localhost since our application is running on the local system, and port will be 8080. You can check it from here. 
path will be the controller endpoint. We can get it from here. Next, we need to view the result of request, whether it was successful, what is the response and all. So right click on HTTP sampler, select add, listener, and view results tree. We'll send the request. It is asking us to save the thread plan before running. Let's not save it. The request is successful. Here we can see the details of the request as what was the size of the request, size of the headers, etc. And here is the response that we got from the application. Look, this is the same response that we are sending from the controller. Finally, since we now need to send multiple requests simultaneously, the results tree will not be of any use since it will show one request at a time. So we need to add a summary report. Again, right click on the HTTP sampler, add listener and summary report. This summary report will show the number of requests sent at real time, minimum and max response times, throughput, etc. But we are only interested in number of samples for this video. Now go to the thread group and change the number of threads to 2000. Now it will send 2000 requests simultaneously. Spring Boot uses Tomcat as a default embedded server which has 200 threads for processing requests by default. This means that if these 200 threads are busy, then additional incoming requests will be waiting in a queue. And this is what we will now see. Now when we have configured JMeter to fire 2000 requests, go to the summary report and click this button to start the test. If you look carefully at the number of samples or the request, these are being processed in multiples of 200 only. This is because the max number of threads is 200 as I already showed. And we have added a delay of 2 seconds for each request. Also look at this throughput, which represents the requests that are processed per second. This is 98.2 per second, meaning that it is processing this much request per second. Let's clear the table and hit it once again so that we can double check the behavior. Again, if you notice, there is a slight delay between multiples of 200. So, this proves that the requests after 200 are waiting in queue. Throughput is 98.4 per second this time. Let's modify our Spring Boot application to use virtual threads instead of platform threads. For this, we need to configure two beans to use virtual threads. Create a new class where we will define these two beans. Annotate this class with configuration annotation since it will contain bean definitions. First bean is of type async task executor. This is an interface and so we will be creating an object of task executor adapter which implements async task executor. Constructor of task executor adapter accepts an executor service. In the last video, we saw how to create an executor to use virtual threads using its new virtual thread per task executor method. We can supply it here directly. Mark this method with bean annotation to make it a spring bean. Second bean would be of Tomcat protocol handler customizer. This is an interface as you can see. And so to create its object, we need to implement it as an anonymous class and implement its customized method. This customized method accepts an object of protocol handler, which has a method to configure threads for handling incoming requests with its set executor method. Set executor also accepts an executor and so we can supply it a virtual thread executor as above. Copy this and paste. Mark this method with bean annotation to make it a spring bean. Tomcat protocol handler customizer is a functional interface having a single method. So we can also implement it as a lambda expression supplying it the executor with set executor method. We can remove all this code now. 
Look how short it gets. Let's now test how this performs. Restart the application. Back to JMeter and again send the bunch of requests. You can see for yourself how fast it is executing as compared to default settings. Also look at the significant increase in throughput. This is now 229.6 requests per second as opposed to 98 requests per second with platform threads. Let's verify once again. Clear this and execute again. Same behavior. Throughput is 436.7 per second. So, we can see that using virtual threads in Spring Boot application can enhance its performance, provided that the threads spend some time in executing a single request. Hope you found the video useful and I'd see you in the next one.